Have you ever found yourself on the verge of making a controversial purchase? Just as you're about to click on that buy button, an unexpected thought suddenly crosses your mind. Wait a minute. They look a little bit like Swiss cheese, don't they? No, 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 no. They're absolutely beautiful. And Kanye West loves them. He wears them all the time. But if I like things that Kanye likes, is that really a good thing? Okay, I need to relax. Everything is fine and buying these makes me a visionary, a trendsetter. Do these holes exist for ventilation purposes? Oh, okay, time for a break. I need to urgently distress from all this thinking with some Pringles. Wait, is eating this like really unhealthy? So that inner dialogue you just witnessed is what Daniel Kahneman, author of book Thinking Fast and Slow, calls System 2 Thinking. It's a slow conscious type of thinking that requires deliberate effort and time. The opposite of that is System 1 or fast thinking. System 1 is subconscious and automatic, for example, when you effortlessly recognize a familiar face in a crowd. But why am I talking about this in a video about AI assistance? Well, in order to understand that, I have to mention an amazing YouTube video posted by Andre Karpati, a great engineer at OpenAI. In that video, Andre clarifies that right now, all large language models are only capable of system one thinking. They're like auto predict on steroids. None of the current LLMs can take, let's say 40 minutes to process a request, think about a problem from various angles, and then offer a very rational solution to a complex problem. And this rational or system two thinking is what we ultimately want from AI. But some smart people found a way to work around this limitation. Actually, they came up with two different methods. The first and simpler way to simulate this type of rational thinking is with tree of thought prompting. You might have heard of it. So this involves forcing the LLM to consider an issue from multiple perspectives or from perspectives of various experts. These experts then make a final decision together by respecting everyone's contribution. The second method utilizes platforms like Crew AI and Agent Systems. Crew AI allows anyone, literally anyone, even non-programmers, to build their own custom agents or experts that can collaborate with each other, thereby solving complex tasks. You can tap into any model that has an API or run local models through Olama, another very cool platform. And in this video, I want to show you how to assemble your own team of smart AI agents to solve tricky, complex problems. And I'll also demonstrate how to make them even more intelligent by giving them access to real world data, like emails or Reddit conversations. And finally, I'll explain how to avoid paying fees to companies and exposing your private info by running models locally instead. And speaking of local models, I've actually made some really surprising discoveries and I'm gonna talk about it a little bit later. So let's build an agent team. I'll guide you through getting started in a way that's simple to follow along even if you're not a programmer. In my first example, I'll set up three agents to analyze and refine my startup concept. Okay, so let's begin. First, open VS Code and open a new terminal. I've already created and activated my virtual environment and I recommend you do the same. And once that's done, you can actually install Crew AI by typing the following in the terminal. Next step will be to import necessary modules and packages and you're going to need an OpenAI API key. So in this case, I'm going to need the standard module and I need to import agent task process and crew from crew AI. You can set the OpenAI as the environmental variable. So by default, crew AI is going to use GPT-4 and if you wanna use GPT-3.5, you have to actually specify that. But I don't think that you're gonna get amazing results with 3.5, I actually recommend you use GPT-4. Now let's define three agents that are going to help me with my startup. There's no actual coding here, this is just good old prompting, so let's instantiate three agents like this. Each agent must have a specific role, and I want one of my agents to be a market research expert, so I'm gonna assign it or this specific role. Also, each agent should have a clearly defined goal. In my case, I want this research expert agent to help me understand if, if there is a substantial need for my products and provide guidance on how to reach the widest possible target audience. And finally, I need a backstory for my agent, something that's going to additionally explain to the agent what this role, what its role is about. Lastly, you can set 
verbose to true, which will enable agents to create detailed outputs. And by setting this parameter to true, I'm allowing my agents to collaborate with each other. So I will save this agent as a marketer. And I'm going to do the same for two other agents. So overall, I'll have a marketer, a technologist, and a business development expert on my team of AI agents. So once this part is done, it's time to define tasks. Tasks are always specific end results. Um, in this case, it can be, let's say, a detailed business plan or market analysis, for example. Agents should be defined as blueprints and they should be reused for different goals, but tasks should always be defined as specific results that you want to get in the end. And tasks should have a description, always something that describes what the task is about. And they should also always have an agent that's going to be assigned to every specific task. So in my case, I want to have three specific tasks. My business idea is to create elegant looking plugs for Crocs. So this iconic footwear looks less like Swiss cheese. I will assign the first task to a marketer agent and this agent will analyze the potential demand for these super cool plugs and advise on how to reach the largest possible customer base. Another task is going to be given to a technologist and this agent will provide the analysis and suggestions for how to make these plugs and the final task will be given to a business consult consultant who's going to take into consideration everyone's reports and write a business plan. Now that I have defined all the agents and all the tasks, as a final step I'm going to instantiate the crew or the team of agents. I'm going to include all the agents and tasks and I'm going to define a process. Process defines how these agents work together and right now it's only possible to have a sequential process which means the output of the first agent will be the input for the second agent and then that's going to be the input for the third agent. And now I'm going to make my crew work with this final line of code. I also want to, to see all the results printed in the console. So that's the most basic possible example and it's the best way to understand actually how Crew AI works. And I expect these results to be far from impressive. I actually believe that the results are going to be just a little bit better than just asking ChatGPT to write a business plan. But let's see. Okay, so now I have the results. I have business plan with 10 bullet points. I have five business goals and a time schedule. And so I should have a 3D printing technology and injection molds, laser cuts, apply machine learning algorithms to analyze custom preferences and predict future <laughs> buying behavior. So I guess this agent really took very seriously my business idea. And I even have sustainable or recycled materials that's great. So there you go. So how to make a team of agents even smarter? Making agents smarter is very easy and straightforward with tools. By adding these tools, you're giving agents access to real world, real time data. And there are two ways to go about this. First and easier option is to add built in tools that are part of Langchain. And I will include a link to a complete list of Langchain tools. But some of my personal favorites are 11 Labs text to speech, which generates the most realistic AI voices. Then there are tools that allow access to YouTube and all kinds of Google data and Wikipedia. So now I'll change my crew. And in this next example, I'll have three agents, researcher, technical writer, and writing critic. Everyone will have their own task, but in the end, I want to have a detailed report in the form of a blog or a newsletter about the latest AI and machine learning innovation. The blog must absolutely have 10 paragraphs. It has to have all the names of all the projects, tools written in bold, and every paragraph has to have a link to the project. I'll use Langchain Google Circle tool, which will fetch Google search results. But first, I'll sign in for free API key through Serper Dev. I'm going to include the link to all the code and all the prompts in the description box as usual. So let's begin by importing necessary modules and let's initialize Serp API tool with API key. So I'll instantiate the tool. I'll name the tool 
a Google Scraper tool and I'll give it a functionality which is to execute search queries and along with description to indicate the use case. As a last step before running the script, I should assign this tool to my agent that's going to run first. And once I run the script, I can see all the scrape data in blue letters, green letters show agent processing this information and white letters are going to be the final output of each agent. So this is what my newsletter looks like right now. And I have 10 paragraphs as requested. Each paragraph has a link and around two to three sentences. So the format is fine. It's exactly what I was looking for, but there is a big problem. So the quality of information in the newsletter is not really the best. None of these projects are really in the news at this moment and my newsletter is only as good as the information that goes into it. So let's fix that. How do I improve the quality of the newsletter? Well, it's actually quite simple. I just need to find a better source of information and that brings me to custom made tools. But before I dive into that, it's worth mentioning that there's one more cool and very useful pre-built tool that people might overlook, and that is human in the loop. This tool will ask you for input if it runs into conflicting information. Okay, so back to fixing the newsletter. My favorite way to get information is Local Llama subreddit. The community is amazing and they share an incredible amount of cool, exciting projects and I just don't have enough time to sit and read through all of it. So instead, I'm going to write a custom tool that scrapes the latest 10 hot posts as well as 5 comments per each post. There is a pre-built tool through Langchain, a Reddit scraper, but I don't really like using it. My own custom tool gives me a lot more control and flexibility. Here's a quick look at the code. So import pro and tool from Langchain, and I'm going to create a new class that's called browser tools, which is how I'm going to create this custom tool. Then I'm going to need a decorator and a single line doc string that describes what the tool is for. The scrape Reddit method starts by initializing the pro Reddit object with client ID, client secret, and user agent. It then selects the subreddit local llama to scrape data from. Then the method iterates through 12 hottest posts on the subreddit extracting the post title, URL, and up to seven top level comments. It handles API exceptions by pausing the scraping process for 60 seconds before continuing, and the scraped data is compiled into a list of dictionaries, each containing details of a post and its comments, which is returned in the end. And the rest of the code is the same. So I'm just gonna copy it from the previous tool. With the exception of this time, I'm going to assign a custom tool uh, from the browser tool class. And this is the result that I'm getting with GPT-4. I'm just gonna copy paste the output into my Notion notebook so that you can see it better. I have to say that I'm more than pleased with the results. It would take me at least an hour to read latest posts on Lock and Llama, then to summarize them and take notes. But Crow AI agents did all of this in less than a minute. This is a type of research that I need to do a few times a day. And also, this is the first time that I managed to completely automate part of my work with agents. One thing that I noticed is that sometimes even GPT-4 doesn't really follow my instructions. There are no links to these projects in this output, and I asked for them. But when I run the script yesterday, the agent successfully included all the links, and these outputs were made on the same day but they're formatted differently. So output varies and agents can act a little bit flaky from time to time. I also tested Gemini Pro, which offers a free API key. You can request it through a link that I'm gonna include in the description box. Essentially, you just need to import special package from Langchain. You need to load Gemini with this line and then you're gonna need to assign this LLM to every agent. So Gemini output was a little bit underwhelming. The model didn't understand the task. Instead, it wrote a, a bunch of generic text from its training data, which is really unfortunate. So let me know if you run into different results. I'm really curious. And now let's talk about price. I ran this script many times and as part of my experiments, but on this particular day, 11th of January, I remember that I ran the script four times, which means that I paid around 30 cents every time I ran it. So as you can tell, it adds up pretty quickly. And of course, this is GPT-4. 
how to avoid paying for all these pricey API calls and how to keep your team of agents and conversation private. Yes, local models. So let's talk about that right now. I've tested 13 open source models in total and only one was able to understand the task and complete it in some sense. All the other models failed, which was a little bit surprising to me because I expected a little bit more, I guess, from these local models. And I'll reveal which ones performed the best and the worst. But first, let me show you how to run local models through Olama. The most important thing to keep in mind is that you should have at least eight gigabytes of RAM available to run models with 7 billion parameters, 16 gigabytes for 13 billion and 32 gigabytes to run 33 billion parameter models. Having said that, even though I have a laptop with 16 gigabytes of RAM, I couldn't run Falcon that only has 7 billion parameters and Vicuña with 13 billion parameters. Whenever I tried to run these two models, my laptop would freeze and crash. So something to keep in mind. If you already installed Olama and you downloaded a specific model, you can very easily instruct Crew AI to use local model instead of OpenAI with this line. Just import Olama from Langchain and set the open source model that you previously downloaded. Once you do that, you should also pass that model to all the agents, otherwise they're going to default to ChatGPT. Among 30 models that I experimented with, the worst performing ones were Llama 2 series with 7 billion parameters, and another model that performed poorly was Phi 2, the smallest of all of them. Llama 2 was definitely struggling to produce any type of meaningful output. And Phi2 was just losing it. It was painful to watch. The best performing model with 7 billion parameters, in my opinion, was OpenChat, which produced an output that sounds very newslettery. The only downside was that it didn't actually contain any data from local Llama subreddit, which was the whole point. Obviously, the model didn't understand what the task is. Similarly, but with a lot more emojis, Mistral produced a generic but fine newsletter. This is basically Mistral's training data. None of these projects are companies were a part of local Lama subreddit discussions, which means that Mistral agents didn't understand what the task is. And Open Hermes and New Hermes had a similar output. All of these outputs are the best attempts. There were even worse outputs. Since the results weren't really that great, I played with different prompts, variations of prompts, but that didn't really achieve anything. Also, I changed the model file that comes with local models, played with parameters for each of the models, and I added a system prompt that specifically references local llama. But again, no improvement. My agents still didn't understand what the task is. So the only remaining idea I had was to run models with 13 billion parameters, which is the upper limit for my laptop. So I first ran Llama 13 billion chat and text models, not quantized, but full precision models. My assumption was that these models are going to be better at generating a newsletter because they're bigger models, but I was wrong. The output didn't look better than, let's say, OpenChat or Mistral. And the problem was still there. Agents couldn't really understand what the task is, so I ended up with a bunch of generic texts about self-driving cars as usual. Again, nothing even remotely similar to actual Reddit conversations on local Llama. So out of pure desperation, I tried a regular Llama 13 billion parameters model. A model that is not even fine-tuned for anything. My expectations were really low, but to my surprise, it was the only model that actually took into consideration the scraped data from the subreddit. It didn't really sound like a newsletter or a blog, but at least the names were there, together with some random free-flowing thoughts, which I found a little bit surprising. So there you have it. You can find my notes about which local models to avoid and which ones were okay, together with all the code on my GitHub, which I'll link down below. And I'm curious, have you tried Crew AI and what were your experiences like? Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.